Prismo 4 on PC uh, PC XX2 finally got this game to work luckily I found a tutorial see so it runs pretty good there's some small glitches on the graphics but nothing that really bothers so since I know how it works I am going to show you how to get it to work because it took me quite some time to figure it out and then those emulator size tutorials or forums they're not much of a help because they're not exactly focus on how to get it to work usually people ask a question or just try to answer but nobody really trying to put out a total tutorial to make sure that uh, people can get the game to work so it was quite confusing but luckily I found a YouTube video that teaches you how to get it to work with the packages of files stuff like that so I'm going to show you how to get Gran Turismo 4 work on PCSX2 So first off, you're going to need to have the program itself, PCX62. I used 0 0.9.6, 0 0.9.6, so use the same. I found a tutorial here, uh, it includes everything that you need except for the patch. So what we're going to do is to download this and get it installed. I have the link of that tutorial on my website, I have a text tutorial on this as well. So uh, just check out the link below and uh, you can get the link to the file. Anyway, so that's what's inside the turn. And uh, just get the program installed first. And after what you wanted to do is to copy both the plugins and the BIOS, everything inside, to the directory that you install PCXX2 in. So let's go find that. PCX62, there you are. Yeah, so what you're gonna do after you install the program, here's the setup file, is to copy everything inside plugged in to the plugged in folder, right? And then uh, copy everything from BIOS to the BIOS folder of where you install the program to. So that's that's the first step. Get that done, and then we'll get into the next step. So next thing you wanted to do is to get the patch for Gran Turismo 4 for the emulator. And uh, I have uh, created a RAR file and I uploaded it to my website server. And uh, here's a link, but I also, of course, I have the link in the, uh, the text review, uh, the text how-to of this thing. So just go to the link below, you can get this file. So just get this file, extract it, and then copy what's inside to the folder that uh, you installed the uh, PCXX2 to there should be a, a patch folder just copy in there and now uh, we're ready to run the game so run the program itself mount your ISO we'll put the game DVD in load the game everything should be okay without any hassle in the beginning the menu part and everything but it's the in-game that causes all the problems, graphics and everything. So, let's get to that part. Alright, so before you play the game, you want to go to the options. In options, first you want to change the screen setting. That doesn't really matter, you can set it to 16x9 or 4x3, it's up to you, whatever you like. And the video output, set it to progressive 400, uh, 480p. Don't ask me why, but if you want it to work, do this. Alright, so that's that, and next you want to go to the picture quality. Make sure you set the brightness, as well as the contrast, to zero. Yeah it's a must and I will show you why 
it's a must in a second so that's done that's everything you need to set just go back out and then save your settings and you're ready to play Grand Turismo 4 on your computer alright so let's go single race any map I'm just gonna randomly pick something New York's good and I'm gonna randomly pick a card any card is good So the game should run without any problems. It seems a little dark. That's because we set the uh, brightness to zero. But this is what happens if you don't. Let's pause it and uh, let me see. Let me see to get this camera focused a little better. What the hell is wrong with this camera? Was it too close or was it too far? Being a pin in the ass. But anyway, if we go to uh, the screen settings, it gives you the options of changing the brightness and the contrast in game. Okay, so if you set the brightness to anything other than zero, your screen go ape shit. Yeah. It's gotta be zero. Everything else will not work. Same thing to contrast. You change it, it go ape shit. You bring it back, it's playable. So yeah, don't miss a step. It's a must if you want to play it. And then after that, you should be able to enjoy Great Turismo 4 on PC SX2. As long as your computer is fast enough for it, that is. Playing with one hand is just not right. Anyway. Yeah, so that's that. Thanks for watching. Yeah, earlier I had the frame skip on, so you lose kind of laggy. And now I set the limiter that way you don't skip frames everything's so smooth yeah I just wanted to show you that so you don't think that the system don't run or anything like that yeah it runs pretty good pretty nice and smooth the only downside is it's a little dark yeah So yeah, anyways, thanks for watching, hope they help you to play Grand Turismo 4 on your PC.